The St. Lawrence Seaway Power Project is a seaway that connects the Atlantic Ocean to the Great Lakes. The project was necessary because North America needed to connect the Great Lakes and the St. Lawrence River in order to ship goods. The St. Lawrence Seaway is a system of locks, canals, and channels that permits ocean-going vessels to travel from the Atlantic Ocean to the Great Lakes, including the St. Lawrence River, which follows from Lake Ontario to the Atlantic Ocean. The project was needed to improve trade in the Great Lakes region. It also provided for a way for goods to be shipped out of the region and into other parts of the world, such as the Middle East, Europe, and Africa. Some new technology was used in this project to break apart rock formations that were too tough to be broken apart with the machines that they currently had. The new, there was new technology that was used to remove dirt in order to build the locks and make parts of the seaway deeper. The project cost around $470.3 million back in 1954. Canada paid for $336.5 million and the U.S. paid for $133.8 million. Now, in our day and age, that would have cost $4.42 billion. Canada would have paid $3.17 billion and the U.S. would have paid $1.26 billion. This project allowed for commodities such as iron, coal, grain, limestone, and cement to be traded to different parts of the country and around the world. Some negative effects were that 100 square miles were flooded and 6,500 people had to be removed from their homes during the construction of the seaway. The seaway has also made it possible um, to sail from the Atlantic Ocean to Duluth, Minnesota. It has also led um, for people to travel recreationally. More than 2,000 boats use it recreationally. This project also created 227,000 U.S. and Canadian jobs. It has brought many savings uh, from revenue and taxes from its use. Since it was finished, 2.7 billion tons of cargo have gone through it. It has had an impact on the economies in Canada and the United States. It has also impacted economies around the world because about 25% of the traffic goes to other parts of the world. The governments of the U.S. and Canada were both involved in this project. It took many years for it to be set in motion. There were many disagreements between the two governments that had to be resolved throughout the process, but in the end, it all worked out and the Seaway has been a beneficial addition for both countries ever since.